The research journey is never a smooth one. There's lots of ups and downs. There is a huge overlap between the skills that are beneficial to being a successful researcher and those that benefit being a successful startup founder. I'm Dr. Ruth Weir and I'm an entrepreneurship advisor here at UCL. So there's lots of us entrepreneurship advisors here, but my primary role is to oversee the Spiro program, which is a doctoral training program in entrepreneurship specifically dedicated to the needs of the doctoral community. We want to equip our PhD students and our other doctoral students to be best placed to be competitive for their future careers. Currently working on a large two-year a long research project, and we're looking at the benefits of knowledge exchange programs. More specifically, I'm looking in collaboration with the University of Manchester at two different models of doctoral training programs in entrepreneurship, and hopefully our joint findings will steer best practice within this sphere in the higher education sector. So the way we teach entrepreneurial skills to students is very eclectic, it's very applicable to what they're doing currently, not pie in the sky, what maybe one day you could use this. Up to this point, there's been a real focus on research and teaching at universities, but here we see there's a wave building behind entrepreneurship as a complete skill set that can help people uh, formulate their own unique careers going forwards. I love working with the doctoral community because there's such a broad range of research going on and I get to interact with them on a weekly basis to hear what exciting things they're looking at and trying to implement. Research is really important because it informs how we interact with the complex world around us. And if we look at the fundamental scientific method of observing the world coming up with a research question and hypothesis, doing experiments to test those things, collecting data, analyzing it, coming to conclusions and communicating the findings to the wider world, there's a huge amount of parallels to the process that is required to create a, a novel startup. You have to identify a gap in the market and who your target audience is going to be come up with a minimal viable product that you then uh, test and iterate, and then communicate those findings and your vision to the wider world. And it's those parallels between the process of the scientific method and the startup process, which is why researchers make excellent entrepreneurs.